If you're interested in finding out how cayenne pepper can improve hair growth and help reverse hair loss, this is the video for you. We're going to look into the science, we're going to look into the side effects, and we're going to look, most importantly, at how you can start using cayenne pepper as part of your hair care routine. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair God YouTube channel. On this channel, we create science-backed YouTube videos just like this one, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. So what we're going to look at today in this video, well cayenne pepper has been rumoured to help with hair loss, but is there any scientific truth in these rumours? In this video, I'm going to review all of the scientific evidence related to cayenne pepper for hair loss, uh, and then I'm also going to throw in some experiences from other people and show how you can add cayenne pepper to your diet in a way that can possibly stimulate hair growth. Let's begin. First guys, what is cayenne pepper? Well, cayenne pepper has long been used to combat hair loss in various forms. The plant was originally used as a spice in Central and South America in the 15th century, and it later spread to Southeast Asia, Europe and North America. It was also used for medical purposes in many different cultures around the world, and many people today still rely on it to treat certain medical conditions. It was first used in modern Western medicine by Samuel Thompson in the 1800s. In recent years, many people have started using cayenne pepper to combat hair loss, and scientists and medical researchers are just now starting to study this unique treatment in depth. Cayenne pepper is a member of a scientific group of sweet and chili peppers. Its scientific name is Capsicum uh, Anum Cayenne. <laughs> Whoa. It is considered to be a good source of vitamin A and also contains some potassium and fiber. Cayenne pepper is mainly considered to be a spice and is used around the world in dried form, either as a powder or as flakes. It is known for its uniquely spicy taste and is often used as an ingredient in many hot sauces as well. Now many people have previously discussed cayenne pepper's many benefits for your overall health uh, and doctors and natural health experts often recommend cayenne pepper for a variety of health issues including digestive problems, cold, flu, joint pains and even heart problems. Because it has been found to stimulate so many of the body's healing functions, it has been used for thousands of years to treat things like open wounds and sores. This interest in cayenne pepper, among other health community leads, to curiosity about whether or not it would work to help treat hair loss. So let's have a look now at how cayenne pepper could combat hair loss. While many people have been recommending cayenne pepper for a host of other health problems for years, it is only recently that people have been testing it out as a hair growth method. Studies have been done recently that indicate that cayenne pepper does in fact stimulate the hair follicles to help with hair growth. Now the first thing that cayenne pepper can do is block the cannabinoid receptors. So how does this work? Cayenne pepper contains a natural cannabinoid blocker. In fact, it is one of the only known natural elements that contain this blocker, known as CB1. The endocannabinoid system is a group of receptors within the body that manage a variety of the body's natural processes, including appetite, pain and many other factors, which is why cayenne pepper is so good for the body overall. But recently, scientists have noticed that the endocannabinoid system also has an effect on hair loss. When this group of receptors receives cannabinoids, which can come from a variety of different sources including marijuana, but many other plants, medicines and chemical compounds that we ingest, these receptors can stop hair growth. This is found to be especially true when the body is in high periods of stress. Because cayenne pepper blocks cannabinoids and prevents them from reaching these receptors, it can prevent and combat hair loss. Cayenne pepper can be especially helpful if you know you have been losing your hair due to stress. Since cannabinoids are found in marijuana, it is especially important to stay away from products that contain THC if you are concerned about hair loss. We've already created a video for you on marijuana and hair loss and I'll link that to you in the description. Now as mentioned previously, cayenne pepper also contains capsaicin. Capsaicin creams and supplements are actually prescribed by many doctors and herbal experts to combat various forms of pain. Capsaicin first stimulates the skin and pain receptors, which is why many chili powders are somewhat painful or irritating if applied to the skin. 
However, the capsaicin then sends signals to the body's pain receptors to release the pain. Now let's have a look at capsaicin as a hair growth stimulant. Because capsaicin is such a powerful stimulant, it is also very effective in treating hair loss. Studies done by Nagoya City University in Japan have shown that patients with alopecia responded very well to cayenne pepper treatments. This is because capsaicin activities activates certain receptors beneath the skin that pro pro produce peptides that increase the production of insulin-like growth factor 1. This is a very important component in the body's creation of hair, so over time, patients who use cayenne pepper treatments will see an increase in hair growth in the applied areas. So, using cayenne pepper effectively for your hair. There are a few different ways to use cayenne pepper to treat hair loss. Many of these are relatively new and have not been tested by scientific research just yet, so it is very important to do a small test to see how your body will react to the cayenne pepper before doing a full treatment. One of the most common ways to treat hair loss with cayenne pepper is to make your own hair mask or hair oil. This is very easy to do at home and there are a variety of different recipes that you can use depending on the ingredients that you have, which we will discuss later in this article. There are also a few companies that do sell topical creams and moisturizers containing cayenne pepper that you can use to combat hair loss. There are also some hair supplement tablets that contain capsaicin, however there are no treatments that are made specifically out of cayenne pepper. Now cayenne pepper plus iron, so many researchers and doctors also recommend taking an iron supplement while you are treating your hair loss with cayenne pepper. Iron has very positive effects on hair growth for many people and balanced with cayenne pepper it can treat a very noticeable difference in the strength and thickness of hair. So what are the potential side effects of taking cayenne pepper? When testing any new treatment for hair growth it is very important to be careful and to be aware of any potential side effects. Although cayenne pepper has many benefits for those who are looking to increase hair growth, it can also be harmful if not used correctly. Do a patch test of any cayenne pepper hair treatment on a small bit of skin a day or two before doing the full treatment. This will give you an idea of how your skin will react to the ingredient. Now here's some of the most popular, well not necessarily popular, but most common side effects of taking cayenne pepper. The first is skin irritation. Because cayenne pepper is a stimulant for the skin, it can sometimes cause the skin to become irritated. This is especially true if you have sensitive skin, so start with smaller quantities of your topical treatment and work up to higher dosages to safely see how much your skin can handle. Burning and inflammation. This is another common side effect of using cayenne pepper treatments. If this happens, apply a cool ice pack to the affected area. Then we've got itching. Some people may find themselves feeling itchy or dry after using a cayenne pepper treatment. If this happens to you and it does not go away fairly quickly, use a non-centered gentle moisturizer to combat this problem. Also runny noses and if you are using a moderate to high dose of cayenne pepper, you may find that you experience a runny nose, irritated throat or other allergy-like symptoms. Cut back on your use of cayenne pepper treatments until these symptoms go away and be sure to use smaller doses in the future. If you were interested in treating hair loss at home with cayenne pepper, there are a few common recipes that you can use. The first is a cayenne pepper and honey mask. Simply mix four tablespoons of honey with one tablespoon of ground cayenne pepper, apply the mask to your hair or scalp while damp, and then wrap with cellophane or a towel. Leave the mask on for 40 minutes at the most, and then rinse with lukewarm water. You could also make a nourishing cayenne pepper mask. Mix one tablespoon of cayenne pepper powder with one tablespoon of olive oil, 20 grams of brandy, an egg yolk, and two teaspoons of lemon juice. Let the mixture sit for half an hour before using and then apply to scalp with your hands and let to sit for another half an hour. Then coconut cayenne oil. Blend two tablespoons of ground cayenne pepper, half a cup of coconut oil, half a cup of olive oil and let it sit for roughly two weeks to allow the oil to mix naturally. Apply another half cup of olive oil and then use before shampooing. Now the stimulating properties of cayenne pepper make it a very promising hair growth treatment. In particular, the presence of capsaicin and natural cannabinoid blockers make this ingredient very effective for combating hair loss. Cayenne pepper is also extremely healthy to use as part of your diet in general and living healthily can help you reduce your chance of hair loss. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on cayenne pepper. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.